This beautiful island is called Izoshima, which is about 100 kilometers away from Tokyo. What makes you feel impressed is the various beautiful landscapes here. The beaches with crystal clear waters and also one of the largest active volcanoes in the world. Through this travel vlog, I want to show you guys how amazing this big island is. So first things first, we checked our body temperature at the port and headed to the island. It only takes two hours from Tokyo by this colorful jet ferry. We called our hotel right after arriving at the port, and the owner kindly came soon. While seeing the beautiful sunset, we headed to rent our bike shop. We originally planned to rent a car for this trip, but it was impossible due to the high season. It looks pretty much hard to travel by bike, because it's more than 50 kilometers around the whole island. But luckily, they lent us an electric bike, so it was way easier to get around. <laughs> The accommodation we spent for three nights was Yado Asano, which is located in Setsu. When you go on a Japanese island, I highly recommend you stay at not a hotel, but these kinds of guest house called Minshuku. Because they prepare local dishes for dinner and breakfast, and also you can easily interact with the people. On day two, we headed to Miharayama, which is one of the main spots of this island. It takes about 30 minutes by bus, but please make sure that you get there from the early morning because the last bus from the mountain is around 2 p.m. At this place, the mind-blowing views were waiting for us. There's a variety of routes to get around, and we chose the basic one. It took about three hours while shooting videos and photos. Especially seeing the view from the top of the mountain, I actually felt as if I was not on Earth. On day 3, finally it's time to go around the whole island by bike. While going up and down, we enjoy stopping by amazing spots that are rich in nature.
Unfortunately, it was cloudy in the morning and temporary heavy rain shock, but luckily the sun came out in the afternoon. And then we stopped by Sanohama and enjoyed a fantastic black sand beach while immersing myself in the fun memories of this trip. Even though we were traveling by electric bike, it was actually so hard being hit by a downpour of rain and running out of batteries. However, because of such a painful process, the beautiful sunset we saw at the end of this trip will be so special forever. I can't see.